you know, you talked about the the sod bust. Where's that going? Okay. I think the first thing to do with um, with our land use conversions that are happening right now, going from uh, perennial native grass to annual cropping systems, is we have to get this on the table and we have to talk about it with everybody. Get it out in the open. And I think then we have to recognize the value of native rangeland uh, and the roles it play. And from the speakers we've had uh, yesterday and today, uh, you can see that our, our natural grass um, acres are really untapped as far as their potential and how we think about them. And I think with soil health as the basis, um, there's just so much that can be done with them. And, and I think all of this together plays, plays a role. This is all in addition to their, um, their uh, ecological roles that they play. And I think as far as water cycles, uh, carbon, uh, erosion control, th these are just all in addition to this. I think we have to start recognizing the importance of it, and I think we have to understand that any time we go from complexity to simplicity, we're going to lose this biological function. Soil degradation is a very subtle process, and it occurs right before us, and, and we don't always recognize it. And, and I really think that's what's happening with a lot of our soils right now. It's degrading, but we don't recognize it. We brought the, the monoculture scenario in uh, with great simplicity. And so uh, below ground and, abo and above ground diversity has been diminished uh, to a great degree. It's a web. And anytime we bring the soil food web together and we bring this diversity together, we can restore these functions and, and we can have a water cycle, we can have a nutrient cycle. Uh, today we learned uh, how important uh, the, the insect world is right. and uh, we, we've talked and we've learned quite a bit about the biology, soil biology functions, but here we have a lot of the above ground insects and the role they play and you know we need to add this cog under the sprocket because every time we add another cog onto the sprocket the chain, the soil health runs a little smoother. And I, and I think this was a really good example today of a new cog that we're going to add. That was awesome. That's right. Thank you very much. You're so welcome.